Hey guys, just want to give you another update about what's going on with me and my channel, etc. It's been a while since the last update um, where I talked about my job situation and that kind of stuff. And I kind of feel like I probably should have made an update in between. Um, I feel kind of bad about not doing that because a lot of you guys were super nice after the video, like leaving so many nice messages about, you know, if I want to talk about stuff or just uh, hang out in game, I can... Uh, hit you guys up and stuff, so that's super nice. And yeah, I haven't really talked any more about that whole situation afterwards. Um, so I'm gonna do this right now. Better late than never, right? Um, it's not gonna be super uh, depressing, hopefully. <laughs> it's more positive, I think. Anyway, so just to recap, if you watch that video, if not, you know, then I don't know how much that makes sense, but basically like a few months ago, I had, you know, trouble finding new jobs. Uh, if you don't know, I do freelance work as a, a game programmer. I work for on like mostly mobile games for other people, etc. And I had a pretty stable freelance job for the last three years. And then that kind of had to stop at the beginning of the year because there wasn't any more work to do. So I had to look for new stuff and had a pretty difficult time finding new stuff due to, well, just the lack of projects available or any decent projects available and uh, just some other like personal like anxiety and that kind of stuff. But um, I did find a... Uh, a couple of smaller things in between that just pay a little bit, you know, just help out uh, slightly. But I also found one that lasts a little bit longer, that's about to end. I'm not sure if that's going to get extended. I'm not quite, quite sure yet if there's going to be more work to do or not. But that definitely helped out. That pretty much saved me from, I don't know, having to loan money or something. Because that was like the last, um, uh, it was like a week, no, maybe two weeks or so. Uh, no, actually a couple of weeks before. I had to pay rent and at that point I was like nope not gonna be able to afford the rent but luckily that fixed itself so I'm good for now uh, that job is almost over though it's been like over three weeks so that's gonna run come to an end soon but like I said maybe maybe gets extended uh, and I've been looking for other stuff in between but it's really I don't know I feel like three years ago so it was much easier to find stuff now there are the sites I used back then or the um yeah, I guess sites that I use to find jobs, etc. are kind of like gone or changed extremely. And it's, I don't know, the market is much more flooded with people, etc. So it's really difficult to um, get back into there. But um, there are some like older clients I have that might have something coming up too. But I, it's, it's been, it's a little bit stressful, you know, like living on maybes i guess like you're not ever sure but that that comes with freelancing i suppose freelancing has its ups and downs and that is definitely one of the downsides it's not stable you don't you never know what you get right sometimes you can be flooded in work sometimes you can have nothing that's just how it goes so i'm actually been debating a lot like i just did my taxes as well which is who oh god taxes man i hate them <laughs> they're the worst it said uh, it's another like I guess pretty big downside of freelancing. You have to do so many more tax related things. It's crazy. Like you have to really, you know, collect every single thing you spend and, and keep records of it. And oh man, oh man, it's so much work. Definitely if you can afford it and you do freelancing, get a get an accountant, I think. That's probably the best thing you can do. Um, I used to have, like I used, like my girlfriend's brother is an accountant, so he did like stuff for me in the past but the last two years i've been trying to do it myself because i really want to like learn more about taxes it's so weird that we never get that stuff taught in in school or anything really like there never were any offers of tax classes or something it's nothing you really seek out yourself maybe early on because you don't really think about it you don't know much about it so yeah i feel like there's probably so much to learn still because there's so many like little things you can like little, not loopholes, but just like things that you can use to your benefit to save on taxes, etc. That I just don't know about, right? So uh, it's probably worth paying someone professional to do that for you. Uh, they probably save you quite a bit more of money in the long run. Anyway, so I've been just debating about that kind of stuff of uh, just general freelance versus local company, I guess. Like just, you know, working at, a, at another company again. I really like freelancing 
I think the nice thing about freelancing is that you get to work on so many projects that you sometimes have the luxury of choosing what you want to work on. And usually pays really well too if you find a good job, right? Yes, you have to be a bit more careful with what you spend money on, etc. and keep track of it. But just having that freedom as well, like you... Uh, you know, you can work from home or anywhere, really, most of the time. You don't have to go to the same place every day and be there. If you don't feel like going there, you can just work from home. And you can work sometimes at whatever time you want. Which worked really well for me, because my sleep schedule was always terrible and it changed a lot, etc. Although that's something, you know, unrelated that I need to fix. And I've been trying to fix that, actually. I think I'm getting better at that, <laughs> a little bit. Um, but... You know, freelancing, you don't have stability. And that's something that's been kind of bothering me lately, that especially now that I'm having trouble finding stuff. You know, I talked about that in the last video about anxiety too, social anxiety and like dealing with new people that you don't know about. And when you have small freelance projects, you have to go through that stuff a lot, right? Like every time you finish a project, you have to find new people, new projects, contact totally different people reintroduce yourself etc so it's always like you know different i was lucky the last three years like i mentioned i worked for the same guy so that was really cool um but you know now i have to like look for um new stuff or hope that some clients that i had in the past have something coming up which they might some people already mentioned hey at the end of the month or something it might be stuff but that's again it's like <sighs> that would be awesome but i don't want to rely on that right it's silly to rely on something like this, especially if you're like in a not so great financial situation. You want to make sure you can pay your rents and stuff. So I've been debating if I should, you know, look for local companies again. The thing about that kind of stuff is I'm sure some people hear about that a lot, too. It's like, you know, game, the game industry and game companies is is not necessarily necessarily the greatest to work for. It's uh it's really draining. It's really, there's a ton of crunch times. I mean, crunch times exist in every job, I'm sure, or most jobs anyway. But there's a difference between like having maybe a week of crunch time or six months of crunch time. <laughs> I don't know if you can really call it crunch time, but that exists in these kind of, in that kind of business. It's, it's a uh, very men mentally and physically draining. Most of the time, you don't even get paid for that extra stuff. So, Plus, there are most of the companies local to my city are uh, n not necessarily companies I would feel good about working for, right? But I mean, you know, whatever. Sometimes, you know, you just got to do what you got to do to make money. But, you know, ideally, I would love a company that actually makes games I personally play or that aren't just the next Clash of Clashes Royale, you know, like just really especially with mobile games there's so many so many companies that make mobile games just for um you know like i mean it's dumb to say just for money of course you make games for money otherwise you could make games but like you know what i mean those mobile games that really pry on microtransactions and weird business models that make you just spend a lot of money and the more you spend, the better you are at the game, etc. Punish people who can't spend money on it, etc. That kind of stuff, right? Like, it's like, there's, there's sort of a morale system where, like, I don't feel comfortable <laughs> working on these games. But I've worked on a bunch of these games in the past, obviously, because I need to make money too. But it's just like, I wish there was something around the corner that would be a game that I actually like to work on, right? So that's why I've been kind of avoiding some of these companies among other reasons and just work on freelance stuff because the stuff i worked on as a freelancer so far has been way way more interesting i even got to do some virtual reality stuff lately i did some augmented reality stuff that was really interesting so there's always something cool and fun uh to work on so i really wasn't like uh into the idea of working at a local company again that changed yes no two days ago Actually, I was looking around because I was, like I said, I was like, maybe I should do it. Have that stability, just save up money again, etc. It's silly to live the way I'm living right now. It's not sustainable, I think. So some stability would be nice. So I was looking around for companies and stuff. And of course, 99% of the people I found are those companies I just described. Nothing super wrong with that. But, you know, ideally, I don't want to. I would like something better, something 
more interesting than that. But anyway, I was looking for stuff and then I did find one company that is local. I didn't actually realize they were local at first that is working on a new game, a sequel to their previous game, which is a game I really like. It's actually something I played on my channel in the past as well. It's a game that I really like. A lot of people seem to like that game and they're making a sequel to it right now and they're looking for people. I didn't realize they were local, so I was like, oh. As soon as I saw that ad, I was like, like all this, uh, all these like negative opinions about local companies and working for local companies almost like vanished. I was like, yes, this is something I would want to work on, right? Like it's a game I enjoy. It's not a mobile game necessarily. I think it's on mobile actually, but mainly it's on uh, PC and I think they just put it to Switch maybe. I don't know, but, um, and it's a game I enjoy and actually played. And it would be something super fun to work on, I think. Um, so I'll probably just go for it. I'll probably just apply there, see if, how it goes. I mean, you know, what, if, it, if it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. But like, might at, least, might at least try, right? Of course, I lose my little bit of freedom of like freelancing, having to go back to, you know, steady, um, specific hours every day to a specific place. But that's what it is, right? I mean, I think for uh, what you know I, I yeah i think it's worth it i mean it's such a cool project that i think it would be pretty awesome to do and it would be i would probably be annoyed at myself if i didn't try right like down the road so i'll probably do that today apply to places yay writing cover letters i hate writing cover letters <laughs> they're so awful although it's a little bit i find like in the game industry everything is much more relaxed that uh, things like interviews cover letters dress codes, whatever, are way, way more chill than other jobs. I remember the the job I was talking about that I had for the last three years, when they, when I saw their job post, they kind of wrote it in some sort of like piratey speak or speech because that was kind of the theme of their company. So I replied as a, like a pirate <laughs> and like made things sound piratey and shippy and that apparently got me the job so you know that kind of stuff i don't think you can really do that in a lot of other um uh businesses so game industry can be pretty fun about that kind of stuff but anyway so i'll probably try that i think that would be really cool uh but yeah so that kind of leads into the next thing i was actually the other day like i think it was a day before i saw that um that job offer or that job post i should say I put a poll on my channel asking like, hey, what guys, like, what time do you guys prefer watching streams at 9 a.m. PST or 9 p.m. PST? To my surprise, most people said 9 a.m., which actually I was thinking at first because I was posting that in the morning. So I'm like, oh, I'm getting a lot of 9 a.m. votes probably because that's the people who are up right now. So I'll leave, let this run for a few days, right? But no, even after a few days, there's still votes coming in and most of them are 9 a.m., which is really surprising to me. Maybe, I don't know, it does kind of cover a lot of time zones. It's, you know, it covers like the uh, around noon time and early afternoon in, in Eastern Standard Time. It also covers like decent nighttime in Europe. So I guess that's probably why a lot of people um, prefer that time zone because like 9 p.m. would be like midnight in Eastern America and then you know middle of the night morning in Europe so it usually doesn't work well uh, but the thing is of course if I do get like a job here locally then those 9 a.m. streams won't be possible right because that's when I would have to get to work <laughs> so I would have to do that night again so kind of uh, silly that I asked at the same time while looking for a job but who knows I might not even get it right but just something to consider i think the 9 a.m stuff only really works if i do freelancing not really if i if i get like a stable job nearby so just a heads up there but that was really interesting to see that so many people but it kind of aligns with what i've experienced so far every time i streamed in the last few days weeks a lot of people after i ended the stream were like oh i just missed it um you always stream so late in my time zone like I th it seems like a lot of people are from europe or I should say not from North America, I guess, in a later time zone, which is interesting because I think the majority of my YouTube viewers are actually United States. I think it's like 80% or 90% or something is US. So I'm kind of surprised that 
so many other people are prefer like that other time zone. It's kind of interesting, but yeah, I it might I might have to stick to the nighttime. I was trying to change my sleep schedule to wake up early again, which is probably a good thing anyway. I mentioned that on Twitter. I was like, it's probably healthy to do that. I'm not always like wake up at six or go to bed at six a.m., but like wake up at seven or so, right? Um, but yeah, that's not going so well yet. But that's again mostly due to like insomnia and stuff, and just not being able to sleep because you know stress and that kind of stuff. But I think. Uh, it's getting there. I'm like waking up early-ish again, but um, I think a couple more days or so will happen. But yeah, and that's why I haven't been streaming in a while because uh, I was just too tired and I had to do a lot of work and taxes and looking for jobs and that kind of stuff, right? So I kind of skipped the streams in a bit because I didn't feel like I didn't feel good about sitting here and play a game while I have all these other thoughts in my back of like, oh, I need to figure shit out quick, right? Um, but yeah, and that's also kind of why I know like I haven't been posting videos much. Most of the videos I posted recently were stream VODs and a lot of people asked, hey, are you still gonna do this series or that series, which is really nice of you to ask that. And I, like I mentioned before, I think I said it before, I do want to, I don't want to abandon them, but I just have to figure shit out, right? That's pretty much what it comes down to. Streaming while having all these other thoughts is not as stressful as sitting here and, you know, playing the game while recording and then also editing it. That's even more time wasted, I find, where I would be like, I would feel guilty doing that. I would sit here editing and be like, oh, I shouldn't be doing this. I should be working on stuff. I should work on, you know, other jobs or find jobs or make my own games and try to sell them or whatever. Like something productive, right? Something that's not video related. So... That's why I've been mostly been streaming, and that's been super fun. There have been so many of you guys dropping by and just chit-chatting. The other day we did like a Final Fantasy XIV stream where all I did was running around gathering stuff and crafting stuff. Because it was like late and I was like, well, I'm doing this right now. Might as well just stream it and see if someone shows up. And we had some really cool conversations about all kinds of stuff. German food, sci-fi shows, etc. So that was super fun. And that's, that's the kind of stuff that makes streaming, like, amazing to me. That's, like, the best thing ever. It's so freaking fun to do that kind of stuff. So, yeah, I haven't been streaming in a few days. Kind of miss it now, but I'll try to do it again soon. And I'm still debating on what kind of games I want to stream. I really, you know, I'm, I do like to jump between games a lot. That's just who I am. And I want to keep doing this, but... At the same time, if I do try to stream a bit more, I, I also kind of want to put a bit more thought and structure into it. Um, it I know it's not going to be like, you know, I don't expect anything to come out of streaming as like, oh, I'm going to make money or I'm going to be big or whatever. I don't really care about that stuff. And I don't expect that whatsoever. But there is, there's still some sort of like a feeling of responsibility when you do that kind of stuff of, you know, I'm, I'm asking people to come by and hang out and chat but if i want that then i should also make sure that people know when i stream and what i stream and just give them a bit more information and also structure and that kind of stuff right like instead of being just like hey i'm on now be here or miss it all or whatever right like i think just having a stream schedule and a little bit more structure of like what you play when you play certain games is kind of nice to have because i prefer that with other streamers I follow as well. Just being able to know, oh, that guy's gonna be on at this time and he's gonna probably stream this, so I won't miss it. So I'm still trying to figure this out, but you know, this might all change and depend on if I keep working as a freelancer now or if I start a new job nearby, so yeah. So for now, I think I might actually stick with the 9 p.m. streams because I think that makes the most sense, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'll keep you guys updated. More updated than before, hopefully. <laughs> um, but yeah, like in Enigmatica too, like all the Minecraft stuff I still want to do, but like I said, it's so much work for um, for these videos and I just feel guilty doing this at the moment because I should be doing uh, more useful stuff. Man, I always get so burpy when I make these videos. I don't know why. I think I talk differently or maybe it's because I just had coffee. Super weird. Like talking without playing a game or something just sitting here and talking to a microphone is super weird to me it's so much easier if i play something but then it's more difficult to focus anyway 
You know, I was th thinking about too, like some series. I was watching the Uncharted series by Nolan North and Troy Baker. They have their own YouTube channel. If you don't know these guys, they are voice actors, very famous voice actors, especially Troy Baker. He's been like in everything. But, you know, Nolan North is the voice of Nathan Drake in Uncharted. Uh, Troy Baker was Sam in Uncharted 4 and also Joel in The Last of Us and they, they have their own YouTube channel now which is really cool, it's called Retro Replay I think, or Retro Play, something like this. And they started a Uncharted playthrough because Nolan North, who's Nate Drake, has never apparently played an Uncharted game <laughs> even though he is the guy in that game. So it's been really fun to watch that and that just made me feel like, man, Uncharted is like one of my favorite game series and you know, I did a Uncharted 2 Let's Play like eight years ago, over eight years ago. It's terrible now. I hate it. I hate listening to it because that's like, that was one of my first series. I had Minecraft, something else. I think it was maybe Castlevania I started. I didn't play that much. And then Uncharted. We finished that one. You know, back then I still didn't, I wasn't allowed to do more than 15 minute videos. I didn't have thumbnails because you needed to be partnered at that time. And so it's it's not great. And it's like in 480p, 30 FPS, <laughs> like it's terrible. But it's such a good game, it's such a good series. I was like thinking, maybe I should just play through these games again. I actually did kind of like an Uncharted Marathon on stream at one point when the uh, PS4 collection came out. There's a trilogy where you get one, two, and three in one package on PS4 remade or remastered. Four wasn't out at that time, but I played through all of those three games again on stream. That was super fun. But yeah, I was thinking maybe I should just make it as a Let's Play too. I think there's a difference between, you know, because I could stream them again, but there's, there's a difference between streaming and videos as in, well, the quality is much higher on videos and you kind of preserve it. It's like an archive. And I don't know, there's just something nice about having games you love being preserved in a video form in a nice quality or something so i don't know i was thinking maybe i'll replay those games again go through them and record them we'll see how that goes i might do that but i think if i do that i'll do it the way i did it with um tomb raider where i play through the entire game first while recording it and only when i finish the last episode then i upload the video so i don't have like a series again that's not finished because there's still other theories that never finished right like metro for example something i want to go back into as well anyway that's kind of like what i've been up to so yeah and i may switch minecraft to streaming instead i don't know yet streaming minecraft is super fun because there's always a lot of chatter going on and it really lends itself to streaming well i think but i understand that people prefer the videos over stream, so I'm still trying to see if I can find a balance. Maybe, maybe it works if I do streams and then have kind of like update videos of what happened. I don't know, maybe that would work, like show off what we've done and explain some systems in the video. I'm not sure if that's interesting enough to watch though, versus like, you know, normal Let's Play episode. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. But yeah, I just want to give you guys another update because I think it's been a while since I have and kind of felt bad of not having Mentioned stuff earlier. I'm bad at this kind of stuff. I always, I always tend to not reply to people in a timely manner. I don't know why. It's just what I do. <laughs> it seems and it's bad. It's a bad habit. I need to fix too. But yeah. Thank you again for all the support, guys, and for asking about my situation, where the series are, and just being nice in general. You know, leaving nice comments everywhere. Really appreciate that. And yeah, I hope I have uh, more updates soon. Thanks all for listening and we'll see you guys then. Bye bye.